how to download Warzone on PC for free is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the Tutorial Tucker channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button right now. I really do appreciate it. And then go and leave a like. So today it's pretty obvious we're going over how to go and download Warzone on PC. A lot of people are asking this and I've been trying to do a lot more tutorials in different sort of areas of interest and I thought this is pretty useful when you know installing games but make sure you keep watching right to the end I actually give some tips on how to download Warzone on PC faster which is super useful as obviously the faster you do it the faster you get access to it and it is quite a big download but anyway let's jump straight into this video. As you can see I'm now on my computer and I'll be showing you how to download Warzone on PC for absolutely free it's insane and let's get right into this. So, so unfortunately Warzone isn't actually available in stuff like Steam um, it's got a different way to go and get it and I'll be showing you the exact method today because I know loads of people just open up Steam think it's going to be there and it's not but anyway let's jump straight into this so all you want to do is come here and search for Blizzard so Blizzard is basically the platform where we can go and download Warzone on so come and click on Blizzard Entertainment as you can see we're now here and it's got so many games and we can scroll down and we'll probably actually go and see Warzone. But anyway, the first thing you want to do is go and download Blizzard. So the first thing you want to do is come up to games and then just come down here and click on battle.net app. Click there and as you can see, we're now here. So this is for Windows, but if you've got Mac, you click on here and it will download the Mac version. They're totally different as obviously they're different softwares. They run differently. So I'm going to hit download for Windows. And as you can see, it's now beginning to download. This is only four megabytes, as it's actually only the run for the launcher. So anyway, come here, click on this, and then you're gonna get a Windows security pop-up in a minute after you click here. So I'm English UK, click continue, and then you'll get the Windows security pop-up, which my computer blocks out. And as you can see, it's now starting to update and get everything ready for the launcher. Now on the launcher, there are loads of other games you can play as well, which is awesome. As you be here, you can actually get Overwatch on it as well. But while this updates, I want to quickly just run through a few key things. So essentially with the launcher, it allows you to go and access everything sort of like Steam. But anyway, here we are. So you've got to go and choose your program file. So personally, I'm going to go here. Um, actually, I'm going to change it to my hard drive. I would actually recommend if you have an SSD in a hard drive, putting your bigger files on the hard drive, as otherwise it's going to slow down your SSD. So I'm going to go and click continue. I don't want it to launch, so that's unticked. You could click it if you wanted it. I don't. Click continue, and now it's going to install. So as you can see, this is installing the launcher, not the actual game. So you've got to wait for this to install, and then we'll go and show you how to go and get Warzone. Once it starts, it's already on 10% within just a couple of seconds, and it won't take too much longer, hopefully. And just like that, it's now finished and it's actually just disappeared. So now you've got to go and enter your email and password. Personally, I don't have an account. And if you don't, just like me, all you've got to do is go and click create a free Blizzard account. Just click there. And now it's going to give us the options to go and create it. So I'm going to quickly fi fill in all my details and then we can go and show you the next step. So I've just entered my email there and I'll continue to just keep working through. Then you've got to go and accept the terms. So I'm going to quickly read these now. So I've quickly read through those and I don't want to receive the news. I just want to understand the privacy policy. Then click continue and we're nearly there. So it's just finishing off and now you've got to quickly verify you're a real person. So I'll quickly complete this verification. Everyone just gets different verifications and they're always changing. So this may not be exact for you. Um, and I think that's hopefully it. Yeah, perfect. We passed it. Um, so let's jump into this. And now it's just finishing off. And now I've just got to select the password and then we're almost there. And then you've got to go and select your battle tag. Now I do recommend having a username which you actually like. As you can see, I got auto selected this, but you can only change it once for free. So I'm going to set mine to tutorial Tucker. That's my username. And then I can go and click continue. So you can actually only have up to 12 characters, which I didn't realize. So I'll just change my tutorial Tuck and that's fine. I'll click continue. And there we are. It's now finishing off the registration. And now we're here. So as you can see, we haven't currently got any games because obviously we haven't uh, ever used this account before. And anyway, you can go off this and now we're on here. So to go and get the game, as you can see, you, you may not see it along here and you're probably thinking, oh, I'm in the wrong place. Do not worry, you're not. All you wanna do is come to the shop. Obviously this is free, but it's still in the shop section. This is how the game works. So you wanna come and scroll down until you find Call of Duty Warzone. As you can see, free for everyone, action shooter, play for free. Here we are, and then all you wanna do is play for free. Just click there, and now it's gonna run us through the next step. Then click play for free again. And as you can see, you've got to go and verify your date of birth. And actually, I've just had this pop up here where I actually have to go and enter a phone number uh, because of account abuse. So I'm gonna go and do that right now. So I'm gonna click add a phone number and you'll have to do it online. So it's just redirected me here. So I'll go and enter this in now and then I'll come back to you once I've done this. It's just one of those things and it doesn't take too long. 
So I've now added my phone number and I can go back and now I've added that I'm now going to come back to Blizzard down here and as you can see we're here and this currently is our insufficient space you do need 120 gigs but if you get this issue just click change and you can go and change where into your hard drive so I'm going to do that quickly now um, and I'll find a place to do it so I'm going to put it in here and I'm just going to click select folder where I keep my games and that is fine and then you can go and click start install and it's going to start installing as you can see I've done that and now it's waiting and as you can see this will take a while the game is pretty big 100 gigs and that's my current download speed so this is going to take quite a while um, but it's obviously worth it and just some quick tips to speed it up my first tip is do it overnight doing that overnight essentially makes your internet a tad faster because other houses in your local area connect to the same internet um, obviously all your internet comes in on wires right it's going to have less demand so you have a bit higher speed to your house but also in other people in your house won't be using the internet also you won't be using it yourself so a quick note as well a lot of people don't realize is that if just because it's downloading don't do stuff on your computer because then that's going to slow it down even more so i do recommend just ensuring that you're off your computer doing anything too intensive because it will slow your internet overall down from downloading and just it'll make it longer to download basically so that was the tutorial part of the video but now i thought i'd quickly show you some gameplay a huge shout out to the original gameplay owner this is some free to use gameplay i'll put a gameplay link down below so you can go check it out really awesome channel where you can go and get access to free to use gameplay if you give credit so yeah this is the gameplay it looks really really good i would use my own but unfortunately mine is still downloading as you saw it's like 100 gigs so it does take a while but like i said before it's a good game and it's free and i think that's really cool and it's pretty good and it's pretty addictive i played it on another friend's computer so i do hope you enjoy it and yeah basically it is worth the download like i said before just make sure to get the ultimate speed of your internet ensure you aren't using it and do it overnight and yeah that's the ideal way um to get fast internet and if you can either use ethernet or move closer to the router it can take a while but obviously once you it's downloaded it's downloaded you may have to do a few updates but apart from that you should be good to go and if you want to see more tutorials on how to install certain games then ensure you do keep watching and then you'll be kept up to date and subscribe down below and leave a like because if there's any certain games you want to hand with installing comment them down below and i'll make a full tutorial on it or if there's any way you want to do to a game like add a straighter pack or something like that um let me know and i'll try and make that video very shortly so make sure you go down below subscribe and leave a like for more awesome content like this just so it gets to more people and make sure you check out the previous videos which should hopefully be on the end cards right now um, yeah, there's so many tutorials in this channel. I'm trying to grow a lot. So subscription does mean a lot and I look forward to catch you in the next video. Peace